Trainer Owen Hardy joins us to talk about his Philly Gramercy. He'll go in the grade one Darley Alcibiades in the opening day card at the Keeneland Fall Meet. Let's talk about her one and only race up at Arlington uh, early in September and just a spectacular uh, stretch kick in the last eighth of a mile. Did you see that coming off her training? Um, you know, it was kind of a, a bizarre race. They'd written a race two weeks prior to that going four and a half, which at the end of August, I thought it was a ridiculous distance to be making two-year-olds run four and a half at the end of August. And then I thought the next race would be six furlongs when the condition book came out it was seven eighths. And if, if the race had gone at six furlongs, I had another billion. And when it went at seven, I elected to run Gramercy in there, figuring that the distance wouldn't be a problem, uh, which it wasn't. Um, I thought she would run well. She trained very well. I didn't know if she was sitting on a win. Most of my horses seemed to improve second time out. Um, and at the top of the stretch, I thought she'd run a decent third. And then at the eighth pole, I thought she'd run a very impressive second. And then with two jumps to, to run, you know, it looked like she was going to win and she drew off. So, yeah, it was, it was impressive, but it wasn't, uh, I wouldn't say it was really expected. What about the, uh, the stretch out in distance and the change in surface? What are you, any concerns about either one? Well, the stretch out in distance, I don't have any reservations about that. I'll, I'll put plenty of work into her. She's just naturally, it's inherent. Her stamina is inherent. She's by Bernardini out of a Tisnow mare. And uh, with the work I put into her and her pedigree, I really don't think the distance is going to be a problem. Uh, she was with David Scanlon in Ocala prior to coming to me. I didn't get her in until late in the season due to the pandemic. So all her work prior to coming to me would have been on dirt. And so I'd say she's got a pretty good foundation that way. Uh, she's training on dirt right now. And I really don't think it's going to be a problem. I think if I keep her in the clear, she should run her race. Is she a filly that uh, you, know, you think has a, a lot of upside left to her? I do. I've always thought a lot of her from day one, and usually the ones that show up early, when you start working them, they're, they're usually your best ones, and she certainly answered the bell at, at every call. Um, I don't see, I just don't see it being a, a problem. I think the best is yet to come with her, and, and the further she goes, the better she'll be. She's got a great mind and a great physique, and she's a very imposing filly in anybody's form. Owen Hardy, thank you very much. Uh, good luck with her in the Darley Alcibiades. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.